Hey crafty friend, it's Amanda with Pear Blossom Press. Today I'm going to show you two ways to add fragrance to your handmade cards. Today's video is in celebration of my friend Annalisa reaching a thousand subscribers on her YouTube channel. If you're not already subscribed, head on over and make sure you check out her channel. She's got some great card videos. But I want to start with one of her favorite uh, techniques, which is using heat embossing. And to add fragrance to our cards, the first one we're going to use is scented embossing powders. So I'm not sure if you've seen these before, but they're awesome. I've got quite a few of them from Emerald Creek that I'll be using um, for our first card. And I've got this cute Time for Tea die set that cuts a, a really cute little coffee cup. So what I want to do is grab it with a pair of strong tweezers. These are locking tweezers. And I've got my Versamark pad. I'll just go ahead and dip my uh, the whipped cream portion here into the Versamark, get it coated, and then I can sprinkle the first powder on top. Incidentally, this is jasmine scented powder, which doesn't sound like it goes with a raspberry mocha, but it goes very nicely. So I'll go ahead and heat emboss it, and then while it's still warm, I'm going to add a second coat. The key to this technique is adding a lot of powder so that you have a lot of surface area covered. When you cover more surface area, you get a lot more fragrance than say if you were to just um, just emboss like an outline image, um, a stamped image or something like that, you, you wouldn't really smell too much. So after I've got my whipped cream done with a couple of coats, I think I actually did three or four coats on that, then I can move on to the coffee cup sleeve. And the sleeve and my cup pieces have two layers already together, glued together so that they will um, be a lot more stable and just a thicker piece. And my powder this time is chocolate and java mixed together. I actually had some leftover from a previous project where I had mixed them together. And they give you a really nice speckled finish and you get a really good fragrance. So I went ahead and added several coats to the sleeve and then I'm going to move on to the raspberry portion. And this time I want the raspberry to be the predominant fragrance. So I'm covering the whole cup in this pink. And you'll see that I've got a pink stamp pad up in the corner there. I thought that I would use that to, um, to grab my embossing powder so that if, any, um, if there were any spots that didn't get fully covered, you'd have pink underneath rather than the white. But it turns out that the Versamark grabs the powder better. And the, after two or three coats, you've got a really opaque coverage anyhow. So I didn't even bother with it for the big portion of the cup. I just used the Versamark. And I'm going to go ahead and cover the whole cup here with the, the raspberry powder. And notice that there's a little section there where it's not completely covered. That's where my tweezers were. It's not a big deal because I'm going to cover that with the sleeve anyhow. If I weren't, I would just move the tweezers around and not heat the part underneath it as I move it around. Um, but again, I didn't need to worry about it here. And then you see I've got one other little piece of the lip of the cup. I just wanted a second one so that I can put it on the back of the cup. That will give me something to sandwich my whipped cream together with. And I'm using Gina K Connect glue for this. This is a good strong adhesive that adheres to plastic. So because the embossing powder is, it's basically a coat of plastic on top of your paper, you do need to use an adhesive that will work with that. And the Gina K Connect is great. It does take a little bit longer to dry, so once this is all assembled, I will put something heavy on it and leave it to dry for a couple minutes. And again, those tweezers are really handy to get my fingers out of the way and get glue all over the place. And I have to tell you, this smells so good. At this point, my room was very fragrant and, and very yummy smelling. <laughs> So you can see I'm just putting some plates in my little die cutting machine on top of it to dry. Once it's dry, I can go ahead and finish putting it together. It smells so good. It still smells great. Um, I've got this cute little fairy from Heffy Doodle and I've already colored her and die cut her. And this time, instead of sticking her on with glue, I'm going to use some foam tape. And the, the foam tape works great as well for sticking to plastics. It, it grabs it nicely. So I've gone ahead and assembled my cup, and then I'll show you the finished card here. I just added a cute little sentiment. Let's do virtual coffee sometime. That's another Heffy Doodle set. And then I've got some brown splatters in the background and a couple of brown gems. 
and I, I just keep smelling it. It smells so good. So you can see some closer photos here. I think this is a, a really fun technique. Now let's talk about our second technique. You don't have to have scented embossing powders. You can use perfumes or essential oils, that kind of stuff, if you already have something that smells great. And this technique is perfect for finished cards. You can do this with cards you've already done. Um, and again, I've made a card here where I wouldn't really be able to put a lot of embossing powder down, maybe in the background, but I wouldn't be able to do a whole lot and have it come through because there's a lot of colored images there. So I used um, a combination of Time for Tea and Heffy Doodle products to make this cute little card. And then I'm going to fragrance it with perfume. So I've got a cotton ball, a Ziploc bag, and my finished card. And that's all you need. You put two to three squirts of your perfume or your essential oil, a couple drops of essential oil, onto the cotton ball. And then you're going to put your card inside the bag. Actually, off camera, when I finished stamping the envelope, I also stuck my envelope in there too. So the whole thing is nice and, and scented. And then I'm just going to slip that cotton ball inside. And then we'll seal it up. And now you don't want that cotton ball to touch um, because you don't want any of the oils or any of the alcohol in there to cause your, your inks to bleed or anything like that. But the paper is porous, so it will absorb the fragrance. And you just leave it for a few hours to overnight, depending on how strong you want it to be. But I thought that was really cute with that sentiment, you are so stinking sweet. Doesn't it, doesn't it need to be scented? <laughs> I think it's really cute. Let me know which is your favorite technique. And if you give it a try, definitely tag me on Instagram so I can see. If you're new to the channel, feel free to hit subscribe and ring that bell. Check out a few more videos here. And then be sure to head over to my blog. I've got the supply links to everything. I've got the next stop in the hop down below. There's also a really cool Time for Tea and Heffy Doodle collab going on right now. So be sure to hop along for that too. As always, my friend, thanks for watching.